I started getting interested in art in grade school. I originally saw a guy come into our class with a marker on a big piece of paper and with a few strokes he created an entire Donald Duck which amazed the entire class and it was like magic and I thought I want to do something like that. I want to be able to figure out how did he do that, you know, it was a puzzle, it was a mystery and uh, I wanted to see if that wasn't something that I could do. I got into trouble in high school uh, doing the graffiti and all and decided that I really wanted to turn my life around and really this is the story of how art saved my life and kept me out of trouble, gave me something to do and I used the spray cans to create more traditional style work. One of the major things that helped my career take off was doing the live performances. I would do lightly demonstrations in front of large crowds and touristy spots and do a painting start to finish in 10, 15 minutes. And it would amaze the crowd to watch something like that done with just the spray cans. People are often amazed when they see or find out that I only use spray paints to do all of my work. It's entirely done with just spray paint. Even the fine lines and details that are done with the brush, I will puddle up the spray paint on a piece of cardboard and dip the brush in there to add those fine details. And then after a few minutes, I have to spray another dot because it dries so quickly to keep dipping the brush and keep working on those details. I usually have to let them dry. So I'll let it dry. I work on many pieces at one time so that I don't have to sit stagnant. I will come back to this piece after it's dry, tape or block off another area so that I can keep the overspray from getting where I don't want it. And then I'll work on another section of the painting. So I do a lot of blocking and taping to keep it clean because working with the spray cans is like painting with a fire hose. It just comes all at once. I don't use special tips. I use just the factory tips that you get right off the shelf when you buy a can of paint. When it comes to manipulating the paint, I like to use non-traditional items. I use a lot of cellophane, newspaper, even foam brushes and things like that. Uh, squatted up newspapers, magazines, and razor blades, bottle caps, and uh, use it to create different textures and effects with the paint that might not necessarily work with oils and acrylics, but because the spray paint is like glue, it reacts differently when I use these different materials and techniques to create the different effects. A lot of them, not all, but I'll add in some diamond dust to create that sparkle. I like to say the sparkle of Hawaii and capture the glimmer of the light on the waves and the water, on the edges of the coconut trees or the waterfall. And I'll put this diamond dust in very precisely. And then I'll come back and pour a resin epoxy finish over the top, which really gives it a translucent effect and adds depth and color dimension into the piece. Every day I wake up, I walk across the street and I look at this, I call it my backyard, and there's, who needs any more inspiration than this? Not only this beach, there are countless beaches and spots on this island which are truly beautiful and inspiring to me, and I love to visit them all. I started out as a street artist. I'm grateful to now be working with the world's largest art dealer, and who knows where the art is gonna take me next. Aloha.